function humans will ever need to make. Because by definition, if you have machines that can do everything much better than we can, that includes science and engineering and invention. And that, moreover, once you have science, engineering and invention and all these other things taking place at digital timescales rather than biological timescales, then I think you get the kind of telescoping of the future where all of those technologies we can already see are physically possible. Science fiction like things like space colonization, cures for aging, construction of fully realistic virtual realities, all of those things potentially become possible within a very short period of time after you have super intelligence that you know, produce dust of other advancements towards them. That's a mind-blowing idea. The super intelligent computer will be able to solve almost all our real-world problems and fast, conceivably within an hour. Hello planet Mars, goodbye food shortages, climate change, disease, goodbye death even. If this all happens in the period many experts predict, there are people alive now who will never die. It does look that there is a very substantial chance that young people today, I mean even middle-aged people today, that the world could change radically before they reach the natural end point of their lives. It is a different world young people are growing up in today, but organically they are pretty much the same as kids were a hundred years ago, or for that matter 10,000 years ago. But within the next hundred years, within the next decades even, it's possible that that will start to change in, in pretty fundamental ways. Great! So can we look forward to a super-intelligent world utopia for what on Earth, or what on Mars, could go wrong? I am the boss. I'm all around you. I am the computer. Hmm. Sci-Fi TV has foreseen the biggest problem. How are we going to control these supercomputers? How are we going to stop them from ruling us? And this is not sci-fi fantasy. It's a challenge which AI experts are taking very seriously. So, ways of ensuring that machine intelligence systems do what we intend for them to do that don't rely on the machine intelligence system not being too smart. So, examples of control methods that rely on them being not too smart and too powerful. Pull the plug. It works great for current AI systems and indeed for a lot of other devices as well. Like you pull the plug if something goes wrong and try to reboot. It's the first thing to do or you give them a big thump with your boot. But once you have a sufficiently smart AI system that could fail in as much as a sufficiently smart AI system can anticipate what you want to do, if it doesn't want to get switched off, it will then have an incentive to either prevent you from switching it off or from deceiving you so that you don't realize that it is malfunctioning in the first place. A computer that won't do as it's told. Surely there's an obvious solution. Can't we just program the computers with certain rules? In a 1942 story, the science fiction writer Isaac Asimov proposed the three laws of robotics. One, a robot may not injure a human being or allow a human being to come to harm. Two, a robot must obey the orders given it by human beings. Three, a robot must protect its own existence. So one of those was allow no human to come to harm. Because it seems reasonable. And if you start to think through what it would entail, it would mean preventing any human from ever being born, because as soon as somebody comes into life, at some point they're going to come to harm. So programming the computer with rules may go catastrophically wrong. The rule may be interpreted in ways we don't foresee. Is there a better approach? You could try to construct the AI such that it observes what we do, maybe dialogues with us, and then builds up gradually improving understanding of what we want, our preferences. And then also, crucially, the AI needs to have a motivation system such that it is motivated to pursue these values that it gradually infers that we have. Might they then become more moral than we are, more ethical than we are? There certainly is a lot of room above us in terms of how moral we are, so yeah, that would be eminently possible. Super intelligence may be coming, soon, and would better fix the control problem now. For quite possibly, just around the corner, everything is going to change, and in ways we've never experienced before. <laughs>